Hi, I'm Kip, and I'm here on behalf of Expert Village. Now, um, let's say that you made a mistake with soldering, and you need to desolder a joint. Now, with a microphone XLR cable, it's easy. Just heat up the tip of it and pull it out. Um, you don't necessarily have to clean up that joint real good at that point, but then you might need to clean it up if you're going to reuse the component. So let's show you the techniques on how to remove solder properly from a joint. We're actually going to remove the solder from this potentiometer. Obviously, this is not an audio connector. Well, it is of types, but uh, the reason we're going to do that is because it's easier for you to see on a flat surface what we're doing. Now, there are two types. We showed you two tools. There is the um, solder sucker, which essentially has a plunger. Heat up the joint until the solder flows, and then suck. And there you go. Now on the tip here, when I push this down, you see some solder came out of there. Now the other way, and a lot of times I'll use both ways, one to get the basic glob off, and then I'll use this braid. And this is, all these are available at your local electronics store. And I'll use this braid, and then with the braid, what you do is lay that over let it heat up and then rub that around on the surface where that solder was and it will suck it into this braid and clean that surface off very very nicely and there we go that looks much better and that's how you desolder a joint now remember if you go to uh, www.greatnutshells.com you can download a free PDF of all the various connector types uh, or connector conversions from, again, XLR to quarter inch, uh, balanced to non-balanced, and so forth, so that you can uh, make cables that fit specific application needs.